Good morning, Jamal. We're going to start off actually in the tropics where we're still keeping an eye on this disorganized area of showers and thunderstorms around Puerto Rico and Hispaniola beginning to make their way towards the Bahamas. You can see not really a closed system just yet, just kind of a cluster of showers and thunderstorms. So that's why we're not really seeing much development. And with kind of the main area of low moving over these mountainous islands, that's why we're not really getting that development, even though there's plenty of warm water just around those islands. So still not expecting any development in the near term, but as it continues to track over the islands and heads closer to Cuba and gets towards Florida, where there's a little bit more water around for it to move into, that's where we could start to get the development. National Hurricane Center still just giving it a 60% chance as we go through the coming days. Now, there's still a lot of uncertainty of whether it goes to the east or west of Florida Peninsula, but things are starting to trend a little bit more towards the west, getting into the eastern Gulf of Mexico, but we'll still have to keep a close eye on this as it could still send us a fair bit of rain as we get into the first part of next week. So something we'll be watching very closely in the coming days. As for the short term, it's all about the dangerous heat and humidity. The National Weather Service has issued a heat advisory for later on today from noon until 7 because that's when they're expecting the worst of those heat indices. You can see we could get as high as 110 today leading to that first alert weather day 111 tomorrow. So tomorrow is going to be just as hot if not even hot hotter across the region and then for your Saturday still going to be quite hot and humid 104 for a feel like temperature live look with our Segra park camera you can see that sun beginning to come up to get this Thursday morning started we have some lingering clouds out there but not nearly as thick as yesterday and so with plenty of sunshine expected today that's why we expect it to be even hotter and more humid 75 degrees is the current temperature winds are calm this afternoon should make it up to 97 here in Columbia mid 90s for most of the state maybe just a a touch cooler closer to the water as they'll be in the lower 90s out towards the beach and then tonight will only slip back very similar to this morning into the mid 70s for overnight lows. What we got is an upper level area of high pressure, which is sending us this heat from the west, from Texas all the way into our regions. So that's why those temperatures are on the rise. 20% chance for maybe a stray shower and storm kind of riding along that upper level flow and could move into the area. But really the story for the next 48 hours is the heat and humidity. Thanks to this area of high pressure still going to have that westerly flow sending us the heat tomorrow highs up to 98 very slim chance for a shower or storm tomorrow. Now we do have this front that's going to push our way and increase those rain chances as it does start to tap in to some of that Gulf of Mexico moisture sliding up into our areas. So that's why we do expect storm chances to go all the way up to 60% dropping temperatures just a little bit as high as we only hit 94 for your Saturday afternoon. But again, heat and humidity is the story the next couple of days with those first alert weather days highs in the upper 90s, but there's those rain chances for the week. Weekend, could interrupt that soccer match, so hopefully we can get the rain here before the soccer match begins at 745, but temperature is still going to be hot in the low to mid 90s. And then next week, not much changes, but we'll have to keep an eye on that system in the Gulf as that could send us some better rain chances towards the middle and end of next week with highs in the 90s. It is 623. Don't go away. We got more news and weather after the break.